Hello everybody, this is Richard with Janus Motorcycles and today uh, we thought we'd do a little video on the number plate on the front of um, most Janus motorcycles. Uh, this is an upgrade or an option at least and so some customers decide they don't want it and that's fine. Um, but uh, we wanted to just talk about uh, why we put these on here, the reasons we started doing it and some of the history behind the uh, fender number plate on motorcycles. The fender number plate uh, actually originated as the registration plate on motorcycles um, back, oh, um, 100 years ago. Uh, there was no license plate on the back of a motorcycle for, it's actually pretty awkward to put a, motor, a, a license plate on a motorcycle. Um, so this was a, a logical spot for that where it could be easily seen. And that was both in Europe and here in the States, you do see uh, registration plates on bikes. And typically they would be either square or they would be round. Um, and they, when we decided to add a number plate on our bikes, we kind of engineered it a little bit more. We kind of designed it to have this sort of swooping shape that accentuates the fender shape. Um, and carries on that tradition of the registration plate. However, um, modern motorcycles have been standardized. The registration has, is, is, has been standardized. It has to be on the back. It has to be a certain shape um, and visible straight from the back. So uh, this is no longer where we put our registration. Um, we have a standard motorcycle plate on the back. Well, when we set out to design the first Janus, uh, we did uh, the, the first Halcyon 50, our very first prototype 50cc uh, Halcyon has the number plate on it and we thought it was a great way to uh, display the uh, serial number of the bike. We're a low volume produ you know, production company so we're not producing thousands or hundreds of thousands of motorcycles so this number is pretty significant if you have number 15 in this case or number 700, number 800 and something right like on the Halcyon 250 right now. Uh, that means something, you know, you can say, people actually on our forums say, you know, oh, oh this is so-and-so with, uh, I've got number, you know, 350 or whatever. Um, and that kind of signifies how long you've had your bike, how, er, how, how early you were at, at, jump, at getting a Janus, um, and tells a little bit of a story of, of how long you've had it. So it, it's kind of a neat uh, thing on there. Um, also, some customers choose to put something completely uh, different on there. So they'll have, um, actually just yesterday, uh, a 450 left uh, with Icarus on the front. Um, and they've ranged from all kinds of different mottos, uh, numbers, etc. And actually, we just uh, put out a video with our customer, Dan Foley, um, which you can check out right here, uh, and his bike which he calls magic, and he, he describes why he calls it that in the video, but on his number plate, he chose to have magic written up there. Yeah, there's a little bit of a history on the, on the, on the reason why these originally were on bikes, and, um, and that plays into why we do it. Of course, it's not for registration on, on a Janus, but rather to tell a different story about how the bike was made and when it was made, or some kind of meaning that the owner has. Um, and it's it just being on the front fender like that, it, it, it's a... It's a it adds, it adds a lot to the bike and it's, a, it's just a good place to have um, something like this up here. We often call the, the fender number plate uh, by another term, which is the colloquial term, is the pedestrian slicer. So around here you'll often basically hear it called a pedestrian slicer. Um, of course, we hope you don't uh, dice up any pedestrians on your, on your Janus, but uh, it's kind of a fun name for it. And you might hear that when we're talking about the, <laughs> about the bike. Um, in terms of what these numbers mean on a Janus, if it says JM or JM015, that's the serial number in the Janus format. That, that means it is the 15th uh, of that model. So to go into that a little bit, it, it, this number is model specific. So if you have a Phoenix, you can have the 15th Phoenix 250 and it'll say JM015 or the 15th uh, Halcyon 250, and it'll say JM015. So it's not overall number of bikes, it's specific to the Halcyon Phoenix or Griffin. Speaking of the Griffin, the Griffin has, uh, does not have, it's got a real short fender, so it doesn't have room, and traditionally uh, scramblers like that um, would have had a number plate 
on the front. And so we decided instead of doing the number plate, because it wasn't fit on the Griffin fender, we would add that up here as a uh, number plate, kind of like an old dirt bike. Um, and so if you want to get the number plate on your Griffin, you get the number plate up there. It looks really neat, kind of fits around the headlight, um, and is a different way of displaying your serial number. So if you want to get a custom uh, number or phrase or name on your number plate, that's great. We really encourage that. It just will not, it cannot follow this JM dash three digit number because that's reserved for actual serial numbers. Um, uh, so that's kind of a differentiation. So you may see on some of our shop bikes uh, a uh, pedestrian slif slicer with JM dash H01 or H03 or a P. And those are uh, numbers that we've reserved for prototypes um, of each model. All right, well, we hope um, that was informative. We do get a lot of questions about what that number means and what the, why there's a plate up here. Um, so we hope you find that uh, interesting. And thank you for watching this video. Uh, as always, we, have, we release videos regularly, so please uh, consider uh, liking or subscribing below. And we look forward to catching you with the next video.